All right. I was just on YouTube, you know, just scrolling on the homepage, just checking out some videos and stuff like that. And I came across this video. Now, in today's video, we'll be checking out they were supposed to be better than SB19. Now, what are we talking about here? I have no idea, but apparently some group was supposed to be a lot better than SB19. In what ways? We'll find out really soon. But I was just on across, I was just scrolling. I'm just like, you know, I was just really interested. I was just like, you know, what do they mean by that? Like, I just really want to see what group are they talking about? You know, why were they supposed to be better than SB19? Who were these people? And just everything along that line. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's just make a video and we'll together, I guess you can say, uh, find out what we are going to learn. Uh, and also, I want to hear your guys' comments about what has happened, I guess you can say, because I have absolutely no idea what they're going to be talking about in this video. Uh, but yeah, let's just find out what they will be talking about. But before we get to the video, if you can hit that like, subscribe button to keep up date with all the videos, that'd be awesome. Without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Bagong K-pop group ang ipinakilala sa publiko. Nakilala sila sa social media at ngayon ay nabigyan ng pagkakataon para ipakita ang kanilang talento. May report si Phoebe Publiko. Nang dahil sa isang sikat na platform online, nabigyan ng pagkakataon ang pitong social media personalities na makapasok sa entertainment industry. Nakitaan umano sila ng potensyal sa larangan ng pagpa-perform ng House of Mentor, kaya naman agad silang binuo at binigyan ng management contract. Binubuo ang grupo ng pitong miyembro nito at ito ay sina Duke, Matty, Wayne, Kel, Jiven, Jester at Andre. Ang kanilang pangarap, Makapasok sa global scene ang kanilang grupo. Beyond Zero was supposed to be the newest P-pop boy group that will take the music scene into a whole new level. Expectations were at all-time high because the group is composed of TikTok superstars with followers ranging from hundreds of thousands to millions. They had everything from luxurious lodging, state-of-the-art training facilities, renowned choreographers, top composer, high quality production and promotion to even big name celebrities backing them up. These are literally things that new artists could only dream of. Heck, even before debuting, they already have a high budget concert scheduled and a web series that was supposed to air soon. Everything was looking promising for them until the night of their debut when things took a turn for the worst. Ano ang meron tayo? Ang Beyond Zero na wala sa SB9. Okay ba? Um, as we all know, SB19 has the K-pop influence, the Korean influence. But we, Beyond Zero, came from the dance community at first hand. And kami, we have the hip-hop influence and we're very proud of that. And we really think na yung pagiging part namin ng hip-hop community, yun yung magbibigay sa amin ng edge to go global. As all of you know that we are actually TikTokers before all of this happened. The media pretty much planted a seed that was supposed to help them get some attention. And boy, they've got it. The SB19 fans in the comment section went ballistic and I won't go through the details because I'm sure you know why they reacted that way. SB19 was asked the same question and this was their answer. So what do you think is the difference between Filipino boy groups and you guys? But we couldn't say that we are really better than them because we respect them. We look up to many artists in the, in the Philippines as well so we don't we don't want to consider us as better group but all of us have different types of talents or you know a unique style of how it would appeal to people. So after realizing they joined right. I mean, we need to quickly pause this. It's already three minutes in. I haven't even given my thoughts on anything at all. Uh, so obviously we watched that interview, which was with SB19. Uh, and I, I remember that part as well, where uh, Josh was saying that, you know, we, we respect everybody. We're not here to like basically compete with anybody in a sense. We're not trying to knock anybody off. We're not trying to, uh, you know, destroy anybody else's legacy in a sense. You know, we're all here basically uh, to help each other and to grow uh, this Filipino music and this culture as well. Uh, and then this group here, I think it was Beyond Zero. Uh, I know everybody, I guess you could say, makes mistakes and 
doesn't always know which answer they want to say. But one of them was saying uh, how the SB19 has uh, a K-pop uh, culture or, or influence or something like that. And that's not something that you really want to say, obviously, when I think SB19 at that time still had a good amount of fans, still had... Uh, I guess you could say they were popular still, you know? Uh, so you probably don't want to go against another group like saying oh yeah these guys are they have a different cultural influence and we're we're filipinos and stuff like that you know we're, we're gonna uh we have better not better but we have that p-pop influence and they have that k-pop influence uh and obviously that's not something that sat right with sp19 fans at that time uh and uh, that's not just that's just not something you want to do why are you creating this competition you know you guys can Heck, you could have got a collaboration with SB19 at that point, I guess you can say. Because they had, as Beyond Zero, as the guy said in the video, had everything to back them up. They had the production, they had the producers, they had big name artists of other people that are supporting this group. And then they go out there and say, yeah, SB19, oh yeah, they have K-pop influence. Like... Again, they basically just shot themselves in the foot at that point, you know? Uh, and that's not obviously something that I liked either, I guess you can say. Uh, and that's a lot of things, or a lot of people that didn't like that as well. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he will address that now. Uh, but let's just keep going forward. Drop the ball. Beyond Zero apologized. Um, sobrang lesson learned. And sobrang wala pa tan sobrang mang mang. And sobrang hindi din hindi din pinag-aralan yung mga ano kasi I also watched yung mga vlogs and reaction videos about dun sa issue na yun and I really learned a lot lalo na sa pop industry with SB19 itself ganon and I also wanna say sorry dun sa mga na-offend dun sa answer na nabigay ko or ng grupo ko Despite the disastrous press conference, the fans accepted their apology and started hoping that they at least have the talent to back up their claims that will allow them to go global. But sadly, those hopes were crushed the moment they uploaded the performance video of the first single. So, yeah, after that, Beyond Zero disappeared. Their web series stopped at episode 1 and pretty much the members are nowhere to be found. Except for their leader. Andre stayed active in the entertainment industry by bouncing around different TV variety shows such as All Out Sundays and Tropang LOL. In fact, just 3 months ago, he joined a talent search in Eat Bulaga called Be The Next and sadly, not much has changed. First time ano ba to mag-audition? Yes po. Ito po talaga yung napili kong opportunity para sa akin na mag-audition. Bakit? Dahil dito din po galing yung parehong parents ko si Mama and si Papa sa Eat Bulaga. Sinong nanay mo? Si Sex Bomb ay si Trezona and oh. si Papa ko po, Michael Navarro. Siya po yung choreographer ng Philippine Island Assassin. I just want to say that he shouldn't have brought up his mom's connection with the show because it obviously put the judges in a very awkward situation. It basically turned the remaining moments into just pure cringe fest. Anong naman mo kay mami mo? Actually po, hindi naman sa pag- Alright, so he, after, he, later on I guess you could say, he joined a show that was somehow connected with his mom. And now he is on the show because he needs to find a way to basically keep going forward i mean this group just completely fell apart and uh, and that performance i guess you could say that they uploaded I, I think it was because they were lip syncing and they weren't actually performing live in a sense because i don't i didn't see or it just sounded i guess you could say just a recorded song you know it wasn't live singing i mean they were kind of just moving their mouth i guess you can say uh, and their dance moves were i guess you could say like i don't know how to explain like TikTok dancing or something like that because they are TikTok stars so I can see how they brought those type of areas of thing I guess you can say and brought it to this 
Uh, and uh, I'm not saying that TikTok dancing is horrible or anything like that, but you can see that they are influenced uh, by that type of just dancing, I guess you can say. Uh, uh, where so SV19 has, I think I would like to say, just a different style of dancing. I mean, again, these guys, uh, I'm pretty sure Beyond Zero probably choreographed their own dance moves as well. Uh, but SV19, again, these guys say that they rehearse just like... I don't know how many times a week and stuff like that they make just so many nice moves and stuff like that and it, it, it's just i don't know it was just a lot more smoother i mean beyond zero that was their starting i would like to say uh, so if they obviously improved and moved on we would have seen something different but these guys just completely just dropped the ball and uh, yeah it was honestly unfortunate as well i really wish that uh, you know this group i guess you could say had a, another chance at maybe proving themselves and saying yeah we made a mistake uh, and we'd like to improve we'd like to do better and stuff like that but i'm not sure there might have been something else as well that is not included in this video uh, but yeah the group split apart apparently uh, none of the other members are even visible on the internet or something like that according to this guy uh to the person who made this video uh, and the leader is the only one trying to find a place in this industry now because of his past failures i guess you could say uh but yeah obviously man stuff happens it doesn't always go according to plan uh but it is a sad sight to see obviously because i want basically everybody to succeed and everybody have another a, a second shot i guess you can say at proving themselves which i guess they had but either way okay let's just keep going i think i'm talking too much now so let's just keep going Ka, ano, pero hindi po kasi dancer si Mame. Oh. Ako po talaga yung nagturo sa kanya sumayaw. No? So fast forward to the results, he didn't win. And that's the end of the story for now. Oh, I almost forgot. Remember how they described TikTok stardom as one of their assets? This might be adding insult to injury, but SB19 won the TikTok Celebrity Award that year. And speaking of winning, it would be a huge win if you sign up for the highest membership tier on the channel. Because not only do you get credited as an executive producer, you're also helping the channel in producing even more amazing stories that deserve to be heard, like sb 19 story for example. So what have we learned from all this? It's simple. Be humble. Sometimes it's okay to disappear. When you fail in your first attempt, get yourself in a dark room where you can focus on just you. Ask yourself what, how, and why it happened to figure out how to come back and just shock everybody. Because a man is rewarded in public for what he did in private. Alright, that was a video on Beyond Zero. That was a group that was allegedly supposed to be, I guess you could say, a competition for SB19. Or, or in the video title, it says that they were supposed to be better than SB19. Uh, but it was just another group that unfortunately had failed and by taking i guess you can say a shot at sb19 saying that they have that k-pop influence on them and we have that p-pop influence on us and we have like the hip-hop community and stuff like that uh, and of course then they posted their uh, they did they did apologize which i respect they actually i guess you can say acknowledged that okay they made a lot of people upset uh, or, or at least the person that said those comments realized that, right? And then he went out to say, I'm so sorry that I even said that. And it happens. We all make mistakes. So that was absolutely fine. I actually really liked that he went on and to say that I'm so sorry. And it also felt like a bit genuine, I would like to say as well. Uh, and then they go on to perform and release. I think they were, I don't know if it was their first song or their first something. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was, the, I guess you could say, the best performance. Uh, I think it was mostly, or maybe all of it, was just lip syncing because, again, it didn't seem like they were performing live. Uh, and, and even like the dancing and, and even just the costume itself, it just felt really off. Uh, but it was their first time doing that. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what happened after that. I don't know why they exactly split. Uh, were they supposed to become famous off of one video? I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, they made mistakes, I guess you can say, uh, and they really shot themselves in the foot with that, uh, I guess you could say, thing that they said. Uh, but either way, I mean, that group, I mean, I think it quickly just fell apart for some reason. I'm not too exactly sure why it fell apart so quickly. I mean, I would like to think that they would say, okay, this isn't working. You know, let's think of something better to do and we can come back stronger, you know, maybe a few months later, maybe a year later or something like that. 
uh, but to completely just disband the group and say, yeah, we failed, okay, it's just time to leave. Uh, it's kind of just shocking, I would like to say. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why that happened. Was there a lot of pressure from behind or something like that? I'm not too sure. Uh, but either way, that was honestly a really interesting video. I've never ever heard of Beyond Zero. Uh, to see a group fail like that kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But SB19, again, it's just a, a, a thing I guess you could say. SB19 is like that group that you look up to, you know, like don't give up, keep pushing forward. And they've even come out and said, like, look, we were close to giving up, we were close to not even being SB19. But they kept pushing forward, they kept going forward, they kept supporting each other. And this this is why the reason they are famous, uh, this is the why the reason they are so big, that like how big they are today. I mean, they maintain that humbleness, they maintain just everything in general, you know, everything is intact and I just absolutely love that. Uh, so maybe other groups in the future can learn from SB19, but again, that was a really just interesting video to listen to uh, and watch. So I would like to know what you guys have to say and what you guys think about the whole entire video. So please do leave a comment down below. But yeah, that was again just a really interesting video. But if you want to check out some more SB19 content, then I suggest you watch this video right over here.